What if there was a way to see if someone read your message on Discord? If they opened up your DM, then you would get a notification telling you that they read your DM. Well, believe it or not, this is actually real and you can do it right now. So I'm going to explain how these read receipts work, how to do it yourself, and it's free by the way, and finally, how to avoid it, if you can. You know how in Discord when you send a tenor link, it starts off as a link and turns into this very handsome, beautiful image of a man? Well, this is called an embed, and I'd love to be in bed with this guy. I should probably not say that, I'm going to get demonetized. But with this embed, what if we could track when this link turns into an image? Because if a link turns into an image, that means that someone loaded the message. Now here's the thing, there's actually tools that exist like this already. We have Grabify and they have something called an invisible image logger. So to explain how this works, I'm going to create an image logger. I'm totally going to read the terms of service and privacy policy, everyone does that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this Grabify link. Now the thing that I showed you in the beginning is actually not Grabify. Grabify is kind of like a wooden stick. The tool that I showed at the beginning is like an intercontinental ballistic missile from Lockheed Martin. But I'm using Grabify because it helps explain what is going on. So putting this Grabify link in a Discord channel. It can't be in a DM, it has to be in a channel. I have no idea why, please don't ask. But if I paste in this link, you will notice Grabify link, it turns invisible. It is not there and I'm not zooming in because I want to take a closer look at these oh so succulent abs. But pushing my fantasies aside for a second and focusing back on this video, if we go back to Grabify and we refresh the page, you will notice from zero results, we have one. And this one result is Discord's bot. Now, this is where things get interesting. If I send this Grabify link in DMs and I refresh the Grabify page, you're going to notice that I still have one result. Now, I'm going to open up my other account. If I open up the DMs, you'll notice this image loads and oh, it goes to the invisible image, which means if I go to Grabify, I will now have two results. I want to make it extremely clear, this IP that Grabify got is not your IP. This is Discord server IP, so you don't have to worry about being IP grabbed or anything, but that's because Discord has your back. But what about browsing all the other parts of the internet? Well, that's where today's video partner NordVPN comes in. Now, if you didn't know, I use NordVPN all the time. In fact, it shows up in a couple of my other videos, and that's because as a YouTuber that exposes the dark side of Discord, for some really weird reason, people are obsessed with trying to figure out my IP and try to DDoS me off the internet. But since I use NordVPN, I can just hide my IP. But if you're not being hunted by Discord e-gangsters, you can actually use NordVPN to change whatever country you're in. Now, why would you want to roleplay as an American? Well, because region blocked content exists for whatever reason. Look at me. I know what you did. You used the same password on every single website. And that's stupid. Because if one of your passwords ends up in a data breach, you're toast. And NordVPN tells you if this happens with their dark web monitoring feature. But you don't want to be toast. So use a stinking password manager like NordPass. Please, please. My, my throat's hurting me, but please just use a password manager. It's a necessity in this day and age. So give NordVPN a try at nordvpn.com slash no text to speak. And when you use my link in the description, nordvpn.com slash no text to speech, you can get four bonus months if you get a two year plan. Oh, and uh, spoiler alert, you also get a 30 day money back guarantee. And where do you get that? Nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. Add time over. Bye bye, NordVPN. I love you. Mwah. Now, what this means is that if our IP grabber gets two results, that means that someone read our message. To be honest, of course, having to refresh Grabify all the time and sit at your computer like a slack jawed moron is chunky and inefficient. And as a Discord moderator, I must preserve all of my calories to try and snap my office chair in half. Have you guys actually seen that like office chair pistons will like shoot up and inside you? So yeah, Grabify is definitely not the tool for the job. But let's upgrade our read receipt system so that we have a domain like Among Us Sussy Fortnite balls. And let's also make it where instead of having to refresh Grabify, we get this view logger message inside of a Discord server. And finally, the requested page is please mommy, but this could be anything, which allows you to track whether or not multiple DMs have been read from different people. All right, all right, enough teasing you already. Let's just get into the meat and taters of this thing. So in the link in the description, there will be a GitHub called View Loggers. This is by Lulu5239. And uh, to show your respect, start the repo. Any hoot holler and a half. The first order of business is that you need to make a GitHub account. I have faith you can do it. Once you do that, you need to scroll down in the GitHub repo and you will see that it tells you to make an account on Vercel. Now, unfortunately, I do have to walk you through this because it's a little bit complicated, but when you open up Vercel, you need to sign up for your plan type, click hobby, enter your name, click continue, and then, this is the most important part, make sure to connect it with your GitHub account. So once you do that, you just need to go back to the GitHub and you need to click on this link here. 
there. And it is going to clone the GitHub repository and put it in Vercel. What you want to do is you want to set the name of your repository. Now, the name of your repository is going to be the name of the website if it's not already taken. So mine was Among Us Fortnite Sussy Balls or something. <laughs> the brain rot is hitting me. I've gotten to Discord moderator like. But set your repository name to whatever you want the website to be named. But the most important thing, make sure this is enabled. Create private Git repository. Make sure this is enabled or I'm going to find you and kill you in your sleep. All right, now that I've legally gotten all my obligations out of the way, click on create and it should clone the GitHub repository. And once it's done, which might take 30 seconds, you'll get a congratulations that your project has been deployed to Vercel. Oh, there's confetti too. I don't even need to edit that in. And you're gonna instantly notice it's gonna have an internal server error. So what you're gonna do is click on continue to dashboard. Then you're gonna wanna click on this get repository button. And gee willy, look at all these files I got. What we want to do is we want to look for middleware.js, which is this one here. Open up this bad boy and you'll see that we need to add a webhook, your discord webhook or gilded. I'm not judging what platform you use, just one of them is better than the other. But what you wanna do is you want to create a new discord server and you want to create a new channel. Then what you wanna do is you want to right click the channel and go to edit channel. Now it's gonna open up these settings and we we want to go to integrations and then we have webhooks and we want to click on create webhook and kaboom you should have one right there you want to click on it scroll on down and click copy webhook url do not share this webhook url with anyone if someone has this link they can send messages to your discord server if i had your webhook i'd send you my dream man which we've already seen 30 times in this video because i can't make a new joke anywho once you copy this webhook url you want to go back to your little github page and we need to click on the pencil to edit this file and what you want to do is you want to paste in that URL in between these two quotes here. Now you can officially call yourself a coder and apply for a coding job. And once you do that, you want to click on commit changes and then just click on commit changes. You don't need to add a description. No one's reviewing your code anyways. Anywho, once you commit your changes and you go back to Vercel, it's going to do some building. And that's because Vercel has Bob the Builder in the background and he's building up your website. That wasn't funny. Can I please cut that? Once you refresh, it should say ready and you should see that the website says you've discovered a view logger. You've done it. You've followed my instructions that I'm somehow turning into instructions because I've messed up recording this five bajillion times. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Oh yeah, we need to copy the link to this website. So what you want to do is you want to right click this domain and just copy the link address. Now you actually have two other domains you can pick. Once we copy this link, we need to go back to the disk of chords. And you're going to notice that your view logger probably has five bajillion things. And that's because when Vercel deploys, it's going to show you five bajillion things. Now with this view logger link, there's a couple things that I need to point out so you can use it properly. First, you have to send it in a Discord channel first. I don't know why, it's just how it is. I don't know what I'm doing. But when you paste in the link, you will notice that you've triggered the view logger and it will say Discord bot 2.0. That means the link is ready. But like I said before, there's another feature of this website where you get to track multiple DMs. And the way to do that is you just add some descriptor at the end of the URL. If you're trying to stalk me and see whether or not I've read your message, you can just put NTTS. Talking to your e -girl, you could put eGirl. And for me, I just picked one that's relevant, but anything after the slash will be a unique link, which allows you to track unique views on your messages. And it's for the CIA government official that I'm going to try and stalk. But when I paste in this super duper massive link, I'm going to be sent a DM. We're going to go to our read receipt server. Oh, CIA government officials trying to figure out if I evaded my taxes. No, I did them yesterday. Don't even try. But when they view my message, view logger has been triggered. And this view logger told me that the CIA government official link that I sent has been viewed, which of course was sent to the CIA government official, Pokimane. Now here's the thing, the second this video comes out, people are going to start getting suspicious, because if you send a message that has nothing in it, they're going to think you're tracking them. So there's a little bit of an art and science in terms of hiding this tracking link. If you just say hello and you paste in the link, it's going to stay as the link, which uh, is not a very good uh, read receipt system. So my tried and true method of sneaking in one of these read receipts view loggers is as simple as sending multiple messages. You send one message, you nestle in your little uh, secret Vercel link, and then you send another message. I'm making this thing sound amazing. It's not all amazing. It only works for DMs, by the way. It doesn't work if someone's on the mobile web browser. It also doesn't work if you're sending this from a Mac computer. And it also doesn't work if you're sending from Discord Canary. You know what? To put it bluntly, this thing is pretty finicky. Now, I already know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking that this is terrifying because you don't want to be stalked by a Discord moderator trying to call you Pookie or his kitten. But since we understand the lore behind 
this whole entire read receipt system, we should be able to make it not work anymore. So let's give it a try. If you go to your user settings and you scroll down to chat, you'll notice that you have a couple of options. And the first one I want to look at is this top option. When someone sends a link in the chat, it will automatically turn into an image or a video. If I turn this off, it should prevent this link from showing up. So I made a new link, open up the DM, and I still get a notification, even though images were disabled in the settings. But if we look over a little bit, you can see that this is still an embed. And if we go to our user settings, we have another option where you get to disable showing embeds and previewing websites linked in the chat. So again, I make a new tracking link, go to my DMs. If I paste in this URL, goes invisible, I get the DM. Let's go to our read receipts channel. And if I open up the DM, it still triggers the view logger. So just so we're clear, there is no way to turn off this read receipt system. You could also just block them off Discord because they're creeping you out. But I want to make it clear that this is a nice feature to have sometimes, but please don't let this become an obsession. Who am I kidding? This is Discord. I'm probably opening Pandora's box at this point by making this video. Anyways, Discord degenerates, please use this responsibly and enjoy stalking me because that's probably what's going to happen. Bye bye. I love you. Mwah.